Kenny and Ben Hicks with Fishing Inside the Lines. We're going to review this beautiful Lund 2075 Fisherman boat today. Try to catch some uh, trophy catfish, and I'll talk a little bit about Man Up Conference. And uh, let me pray real fast. God, thank you for a beautiful day. Uh, east wind, a little bit of barometer coming down, but God, we just pray that you'll you'll bless us, keep us safe. Thank you for being able to be be out in your creation, and just bless those that watch this. Uh, we ask all this in Jesus' name. Please hit the subscribe button below, uh, the like, and the bell, and uh, that's what kind of keeps us going, and we just and hope you're blessed today. All right, guys, we'll talk to you about our setups that we have for fishing for catfish today. So what I'm using is I'm using a 30-pound mono, and then I go down to a swivel, but before that swivel, I have one of these little snag-free weights that because we're drifting today. You can throw out and just set for catfish or you can drift and so we're drifting and this is going to help it prevent getting hung up on the bottom. And then I go down to another leader and uh, I know we're in the middle of December right now and you may think that this is jingle bells but this is a little catfish rattle float. It's going to make a little noise as it's drifting through the water and then it's going to hold the bait just off the about a foot and a half or a foot off the bottom in the strike zone for the catfish. So, and then I'm using a circle lot hook and I'm using an eight-aught today because we're trying to fish for trophy catfish. So again, simple setup, snag free weight to a leader, to a rattle float, to another small leader with your circle hook and just to keep it off the bottom. That's it. Hey guys. Just a little note uh, here in uh, Big Pilot Point, Aubrey, Texas, we do a Man Up Conference January 27th is this year, and we've done it for the last several years. Uh, we, we set up with tables and, and get a group of eight guys, and then we have a, just great music, great speaker. And our challenge this year is uh, treasures and talents. Last year was time. A year before was discipleship, so we're just pressing into these guys, uh, challenging them to take their treasures and talents to the next level. So January 27th, you can go on midwaychurch.org and sign up, and just another way of saying, hey, we care about men uh, fishing, we care about men's soul. God bless you. There's Kenny. We got the seats turned backwards and we're drifting for uh, catfish. Uh, super relaxed. Very relaxing sitting yes. here. You go watch your watch your lines, waiting for that big trophy catfish to strike. You got storage compartments on both sides. You can put uh, rods on your port side. We got a flip down seat. If Kenny will lift this rod here for a second, we'll show you this flip down seat that we have. So you can have six people sitting behind the windshield out of any weather. You got four pedestal seats. Yep. This model has two captain's chairs with the armrest and then two pro ride seats. I love these captain's chairs, they're air ride. So the shocks on them are great. Nice soft ride. You got storage here in the center compartment. As just forward to that, we got more rod storage. I'll show you here. Kenny's opening up the glove box. This glove box is huge. It goes back there pretty far. I have a lot of camera equipment in there, rain gear, just in case I needed it for today. More rod storage, but I put life jackets since we're just using the boat for today. More storage compartments up in the front. Spot to put another uh, uh, seat base. The walk-through windshield, so that's going to help block that wind and keep it warmer. Choose your graft. Uh, this one here has a nine-inch garment on it. Stereo, tilt steering, compartment again uh, on the other side of the boat. Put tackle trays. You can put rods in there as well. Overall, this is a great boat. So this one here has a 200 Mercury four-stroke on it. This thing will absolutely get up and run. So tried it out this morning. We got it up to 52 miles an hour. Uh, still had some room to trim it to get a little faster, but since it's a new boat, didn't want to don't want to run the engine too hard. We're going to break in that engine properly. And overall. Honestly, I would love to have this boat. So rides perfect. These boats are made for big water. So, you know, inside here, it's almost like you have a, a pontoon on a regular boat hold because there's so much room in here. This thing, you bring your family, bring your kids. 
have a great time. It's got the sport track system on the side. And so you can put in your rod holders in there. And that way you don't have to drill into the, anywhere on your boat. So, and they're adjustable. So it'll slide and, and you can put it where you want to go, tighten it up. And the thing is just absolutely great. So, so uh, this boat here is from Fish and Ski Marine. They have two locations. They have uh, Sanger, Texas and New Braunfels. So family run business, uh, great trustworthy people. So if you're in the market for a boat, or boat service, look them up and uh, give them a chance. Let them earn your business. I don't think you're going to regret it. Kenny, what do you think about this boat? This is your first time in it. Uh, first time in this one, but uh, I've fished in a couple of them, and uh, the compartments are unbelievable. No wasted space. Uh, the ride is uh, just super dry, uh, very comfortable. The air ride seats are amazing. Uh, I just can't believe how you don't have to put a holes anywhere everything's got little track systems and and it'll hold probably 20 poles all your gear uh just an amazing boat rides unbelievable uh i have a center console 24 foot boat and uh this one rides better than my my boat and that's hard to say but uh very impressive if this was out and I had been around it and seen it, I probably would have bought this boat before I bought mine. Yeah, me and you, we did the Lund Fishing TV show last year, the yes. Lund, the ultimate fishing experience, and we fished out of the uh, the Lund's 1975 Renegade, yeah. which is more of a Mod V bass boat, and uh, absolutely love that thing. This thing is a little bit bigger, but the ride on this could handle a lot bigger water. But, you know, Lund boats, it's they're made by fishermen, for fishermen. Yep. So the, the, it's not people that don't know anything about fishing. The people that are making these, they know it yep. because they live it and they do it every day. So um, that's another thing that you can take into consideration. If you're looking for a new boat, you know, a fishing boat, there's a line. They, they're, they're great. Very good. Brand new boat. Two best fishermen on Lake Ray Roberts. <laughs> Here we go. Wait, did that happen today, though? Let's go ahead and do that now. No, it didn't happen today. W what happened with today? You know, uh, wind out of the east and the fish bite the least, and we we found that out today. Saw lots of fish. Uh, Should have caught some, but uh, some days it just happens. But we sure had a good time on a good-looking boat, and uh, the fellowship's always good, and just being out in God's creation. Yeah, so we're going to give you the, the the honest truth when we come out fishing. We're not going to just doctor it up. So today we didn't catch any fish, so you're not going to see any today. But uh, like Kenny said, we had a great time. So we'll keep it real with you. And uh, Mama said there'll be days like this. So Hey, guys, as you know, I'm a, I'm a pastor uh, full-time, but then me and Ben fish on the side with fishing inside the lines. But here's just a verse, uh, Luke 2, 16. And this is the shepherds hearing about and seeing the star, and they found out there was something special going on in the stable. And they went to haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known saying that they had been, t been told concerning the child. And this was the baby Jesus. It's Christmas time. Uh, we all get our presents and love to have our toys, but uh, we definitely want to remember uh, what it represents, the, the birth of Jesus Christ, our, our Savior, that is really the focal point of everything of who we are and what we are. So thank you, Jesus, for being born. Thank you for Christmas. Thank you for this special time. Uh, may you celebrate that with your family and truly get to know who, who Jesus is. God bless you.